So I got a V4AL18C, which I don't see a C there, but looks like it was a 1966 model. Apparently the 80 was only made in 66 and 67. Okay, you missed all the action because the camera died when I was unloading this thing from my truck. But it's funny because uh, the guy said he just put a sign on it free like 10 minutes before I stopped. I was on my way home from work. And I saw it like with the hood off and it was had a sign, free, not sure if it works. I'm like, uh, pretty safe bet. Uh, yeah, pretty safe bet it does not work. I got evidence of a mouse nest in here, which I didn't see before. Plastic bags. But it does spin, which I didn't even bother to check till after I got it home. So, everything's there. It's got the coil, it's got this really crazy kind of a distributor. I have no idea how that works. It's like a belt drive. It's got a belt drive distributor. Why well, there's only three wires and it's a four cylinder? Oh, it's a three cylinder. No, wait a minute. No, it's a four cylinder. Oh, there's two on this side, okay. Yeah, I don't know anything about this motor. It's an electromatic, which I believe. Super Seahorse. Yeah, that's like the top end. Electromatic, I believe, is supposed to be an electronic shift mechanism somehow. I gotta look it up online and get details about it, but I don't know. My my main concern. Oh, there's a wire that like burned off. Oh gosh, that's the electronic ignition mod. No, that's the shift module right here, I guess. I don't know. I don't know nothing. Well, I didn't document how I got this here after dragging it out of the woods. Turns out a buddy of mine had this motor on an abandoned boat on his property. And I forgot it was there until I looked at some pictures and I noticed it's the same motor. I was like, oh my gosh, save that thing because he just cut the boat up and got rid of it a couple days ago or a week ago. So he saved the motor for me, and I think I can get some parts off of it. So, just gotta get it down the rest of the way here. This thing's got a weight. <laughs>
gosh. Why won't it come off? Broke the belt. Oh, Monkey nuts. Oh. Monkey nuts. Well, that explains why it wouldn't come off. Oh, damn it. Where are you going to find one of those? Well, it wasn't as dirty in there as I thought. I mean, it's rubbing. You could tell it was rubbing a little bit, I guess, but I just wanted to vacuum this and clean the rust off. this flywheel off not realizing what was holding it but uh, I got it back on there and made this little turning apparatus out of a garage door opener and uh, she went pretty hard I think it was all my tools <laughs> she went pretty hard but I got her going now put some WD in there and uh, for some reason, it only wants to turn up to a certain point, and then she's stuck. It goes pretty easy around this part, and then it gets hard again going back the other way. So uh, I'm going to let that soak a little bit. to the intake port it's kind of a weird uh, setup you can't put a regular muffler or, uh, garden hose attachment on here so just in case there's anything left of the original impeller I'm gonna try to pour a little water in there I've got this old stable bottle quarter ounce of fuel here I dump that in tap the leach carb See if it'll do anything. Put a little water in here, which of course is going to pour right back out again. Like it did last time. Break this up.
okay this is weird it only fires on this side of the motor one and three fire even though I switched over the the wires and the cap and everything that side does not fire I'll use this tester same exact thing all right so there's two sets of points but they don't open exactly at the same time or close exactly at the same time this one I had to adjust because when you uh, advance it that one is open now this one is also open but when this one shuts at this point this one is still open I don't know I'm fiddling around with it I think this might do it